Expanding Idaho treatment options for teens with substance abuse problems sounds like a pretty decent idea, right? Well, it is the idea behind House Bill 340. Some legislators are now speaking out and they say the bill could put some vulnerable youths at risk. Joe Paris explains. People are very concerned about allowing 13 year olds to 17 year olds intermingle with adults in a rehab facility. House Bill 340's intent is to allow more facilities to deal with substance abuse issues, namely residential substance abuse treatment for teens. Under a pilot program, this bill would allow that to happen at one Idaho facility, Good Samaritan Rehab in Coeur d'Alene. The facility is even named in the current version of the bill, and that bill passed the House earlier. The facility in question cannot operate currently because it does not have a license. This legislation is trying to create an extraordinary exception for this one facility to operate without a license. Representative Lauren Necochea says this isn't the way. If a facility wants to provide treatment to youth, it can go through the proper process of requiring a license. Necochea says she has gotten a lot of calls from people around the state concerned about the bill. They fear having minors in a rehab facility with adults could present major issues especially considering that the facility in mind treats issues other than just substance abuse. Adults who have pornography or sex addiction, and there are just deep concerns about interspersing youth in that environment. Necochea says with so many other options already available, there's no reason to put vulnerable youth at risk. I think the sponsor has good intentions, and we just need to be really careful about ensuring quality of, of care for these vulnerable young people. I think it's worth pointing out uh, Representative Tim Worthing, uh, Remington, excuse me, who this bill would have affected. We just talked about that a little bit ago. This conflict of interest thing. He did excuse himself from these proceedings, correct? Because right. uh, Pastor Remington, he owns that facility in northern Idaho in Coeur d'Alene, this rehab center that's written into the bill. He was excused from voting today. So, you know, you just talked about it a moment ago. It would have been a situation where Remington could have said, I do have this conflict of interest, and he still could have voted. Today, though, conflict of interest, did not vote. Just okay. an interesting... Side note there. Any other issues with this bill? Yeah, uh, Democrats, Nekachea, uh, she was telling me that there are some issues that they have with the bill itself because the way the bill was originally written at the beginning of the session, Nekochea was explaining to me, and you can look this up online as well, there's these provisions inside the bill that would kind of be the safeguards of, okay, this is not going to be a licensed facility, but they still have to go through these things to make sure that everything's going to be safe. A large majority of those, those were taken out, Brian. Things like uh, background checks as well as law enforcement tracking complaints, among other things. There was one written in that a facility would have to be within 50 miles of an emergency facility. Those were all taken out. So hmm. Representative Nekachea was telling me she has concerns with the principle of what the bill could do and also the procedure that they got to it at. Okay. All right. We'll keep an eye on that one as it goes forward. Thank you, Joe. Yep.